Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play A Link to the Past! Last time, we got a key. Remember there was a locked door that I didn't think was locked, but, well, it is locked. Well, let's unlock it now. With my lock pick. I don't like lock picking in most games. It seems kind of te a tedious way to add artificial challenge to a game. I don't know, maybe it's just me. But anyway, let's just push this aside here. There we go. Now we have water. Still don't have room service, though. Now for this part, it's a real bastard move. You have to make the switch orange. If you don't do that, there's going to be a point uh, a few rooms from now where you'll, wi you'll wish it was orange, but it won't be. And there's no crystal switch over there, so you have to go all the way back. Yeah, it's a real bastard move. Oh well. It's the only time I can think of where something like that happens. Maybe I should equip something else so I don't accidentally use my ice magic. I mean, I love using this thing, but... Don't want to just waste it. Whoa. What the hell was that? The water is attacking me? Well, I suppose it's not the most bizarre thing that I've ever had attack me in a video game. So, sure, why not? Let's say out of the water, just have the air attack me while you're at it. Just pass gas at me. Whoa. Stay away from me. Well, they're fireballs. I suppose they couldn't, but you know what I mean. But anyway, let's grab that, which was mostly nothing. I don't think I'm going to be spending more money for quite a while. What is that thing that's attacking me there anyway? Water's just coagulating all of a sudden? I don't know. Got me on this one, viewers. You know what? It might not be a terrible idea to bring the magic cape. Ha! There we go. You can't see me. Now remember we hit that crystal switch? Yeah, here it is. Uh, well, anyway. I wonder if you could dash through all those skulls if you had the appropriate sword in the Game Boy Advance version. I forget. I mean, I know you can destroy them with just a swing of your sword, but I don't think you can... Yeah, not in this version of the game, anyway. Oh, well. But, anyway, let's put that big key to use. I like how everything's kind of centrally located, and you have all these branching paths off the middle. I like when they do that in dungeons. Nice, neat, organized, symmetrical. Well, okay, it's not perfectly symmetrical, but enough to satisfy me. Whoa. Wonder if the ether magic would work on that fireball worm. Well, we're not gonna find out. Not today. But anyway, in the big chest in this dungeon, we get the hook shot. Boing! Scientific progress goes boink. Well, anyway, new to Z the Zelda series at this point, we got a hook shot. You can hook on the chat. I don't know if you can hook on the chest, but I know you can hook on to pots and or skulls and various other items. Let's see if this works here. Yeah, it does. Now, if you're playing the Game Boy Advance version, this is another bastard move because the screen is smaller because it has lower resolution, so you can't see those skulls at the top of the screen. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, viewers. So, yeah, not a whole lot you can do about that. Hey, stop being a le Why did, like, most of my hits miss? Well, anyway. So, yeah, that's one thing I really don't like about the Game Boy Advance version. Oh, I've played it a few times myself, just when I didn't have anything better to do for the day. But, you know. Let's see what's down here. What the? It's a dead end. Better try the other way. Eh, I just figured I'd show you the dead end. Not too many dead ends in, in this game, really. That's one thing I like about this game compared to previous Zelda games. No, well, not no dead ends, but very, very limited dead ends. Every room has a puzzle or purpose or something or other going on. It's not just wasted space. Of course, being a Super Nintendo game, I suppose you don't have that much space to waste. Ow. Die. Kind of hard to miss with that. Just throw a pot that's the size of your brain at your head. Whoa. Ha. Now, if you go down those stairs, I'll just, well, I'll show you in a moment. 
I was gonna say I'll show you now, but then I'd have to push that statue onto the switch again. Nah, nah, we're not gonna go through that again. How did they, uh, hmm. Well, let's try that again. There we go. Now, if you, by pushing that switch there, it not only affects, I think it doesn't just affect that room, I think it affects this room down here too, if I recall correctly. Yes, okay. If you tried going down those stairs I passed up earlier, you would have ended up here, and if I recall correctly, that room is not filled with water, or it is filled with water, if you didn't push that switch before. Well, let's see what's going on up here. Not a whole lot. Well, we might as well, maybe there's some hearts in there or something. Something remotely useful? No, of course not. Oh, what's over there? There's a room to the right there. Let's check it out. Huh, that's weird. There's nothing over there. Oh, I, I could have sworn I saw a room over there. Huh. Well, let's try pushing these around. There we go. Nothing! How do we get into that room? Oh, come on, it's one of these waterfalls. There we go! Right over here! I was going to say that a second ago, but well, I couldn't find it. That's... I love the hookshot. It makes later dungeons so much easier. You don't have to have it, but it is very nice. And it even works on those guys while they're trying to electrocute you, I guess, or something or other. Ha! Let's see what's up here. Yeah, I can't kill these guys. If only there were an item that would let us kill them while we're swimming, but... Sadly, I'd have to really go out of my way in order to get it. So, I'm going to save that for way later in the game. It's almost abusive in the game. Like, fan-worthy. Oh, I suppose it's no more abusive than the ma- Well, not that much more abusive than the magic cape. You know the one I'm talking about. Oh, that must have the key over there. Huh. I thought it had, like, a large magic bottle, and I didn't need that at all. Huh. Okay. Well, there we go. At least that mistake didn't cause me to have to re-record. Huh, no uh, boss key needed here. Huh, that's odd. I thought we always needed the boss key for boss time! Ha! Huh. Now this guy would be a lot harder if you didn't have the tempered sword. What you gotta do is you gotta kill all these little floaty brain guys, or whatever they are. And normally with the master sword, it takes two hits to kill them all, so you can't kill them as quickly as I am. But, fortunately, I have the Tempered Sword. And it's kind of hard to miss those guys. So... Ha! There we go. Oh, I can't hit them yet. Ha! Wow, I didn't realize the Tempered Sword would make this guy so much easier. Wow! <laughs> I have never fought this guy with the Tempered Sword. It was just something that a lot of... People suggested, and I figured, well, okay, I'll give it a try, but wow! I didn't know it was that abusive. Holy cow. Give me some sugar, babe. Oh, well, you're kind of in a crystal, but well, maybe later? Well, they all kind of look alike, though. Does she have green hair? I like to think she has green hair. I like the green hair. Pink hair's okay. Well, where'd it go? I mean, it, it's not that hard to find something like that. Gee, I wonder where the Triforce could be. Could it be in the giant frickin' triangle in the middle? Let me think. Sorry if I seem a little angry today. I'm not feeling angry, just... I don't know. Whatever. Ah. Uh, yeah, there's more of those than the one we... Well, I've already shown you another one, but yeah, there's a whole bunch of them all over the world, so, yeah. Yes, I don't want you to repeat that to me. I like how that one time in Ocarina of Time, the owl uh, switches around the yes or no options. Yeah, that's a real nice touch game. Thanks. Just to try and trick you. Let's see if I can get out of here. Maybe get some more fairies while I'm at it. Well, not today. I'm getting out of here. 
We need to head on over to the third dungeon. That's the one I'm gonna head on over to next. You don't have to do it now. Well, yeah, you don't have to. It would be nice to have for, well, a particular other dungeon. Now that we have the Titan's Mint, we can just go on through here. Normally, you have to walk all the way around, but not today. Anything in there? No. I wonder if any trees have anything in the dark world. I don't know. I mean, I know if you bounce into their noses, they get real pissy at you, but other than that, I don't know. I've never used a tempered sword for this dungeon, too, so this will all be a new experience for me. Let's see, I don't want to go in that one just yet. Now, this one, this dungeon is a little tricky. It's got multiple entrances. Careful here. Darn, I can't hit you. <laughs> but yeah, like, you got that entrance there. You got a whole bunch of entrances down there. You got another entrance over here. Which one is right? Find out next time on Let's Play A Link to the Past. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day. I like the music here.